Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 40. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find if a database was implicitly or explicitly activated or deactivated. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is we want to find if a database was implicitly or explicitly activated or at the same time if uh, uh, find if a database was implicitly or explicitly deactivated. The solution is straightforward. The DB2 diag log, the diagnostic log file, uh, has distinct entries for implicit or explicit database activation or deactivation. Uh, in this solution, in this tutorial, I'm going to provide you a simple uh, awk script, uh, which will give you a simplified view of entries in the DB2 diag log. Diag log will contain a lot of entries. So this awk script will only search uh, the dialogue and list the entries which are only related to the activation and deactivation of databases. So let's quickly get into uh, the examples. So here in terminal 1 I have started the instance. So you can see that already in terminal 1 the instance is started. Now after that what I am going to do is I am going to issue the db2 activate db, db name. So this is an explicit uh, activation of the database. After that I do explicit deactivation of the database and this connect to test will implicitly activate the database okay so on first connect and connect reset will implicitly deactivate the database uh, so let us first do uh, and uh, after that again I am initiating a implicit uh, activation okay so let's look at this so first we will execute this in terminal 1 so this is terminal 1 okay so here the instance is already started now i am activating the db deactivating the db then implicit activation this connect reset will implicitly deactivate and then again i am implicitly activating the database so after that what i am going to do is in terminal 2 i am going to activate the database explicitly so this is like terminal 2 okay so here i am explicitly activating the database again which is already activate only okay because of the implicit activation so now in terminal 1 i go and issue a connect reset okay so i am in terminal 1 so now i issue a connect reset so this will not bring down the database so that's what i am going to show you here so i'm going to say list active databases in terminal 2 okay so it is going to keep the database active uh, state only right so because we have explicitly activated after an implicit activation after that then I have to deactivate the database explicitly right then only it will come down ok. So various uh, scenarios we have uh, seen here ok. So now uh, we look at uh, the uh, awk script. So here the linux command is m awk you can use awk command also begin and end uh, there is a begin uh, I am setting the uh, rs like uh, uh, every uh, record will be separated okay like uh, and activated it is looking for in the db2 diaglog file for the pattern activated colon okay and it will list all those uh, records it's a very simple script actually uh, so let us just run that okay so uh, what you should ideally see here is like this so it is going to display all the dialog entries but only those entries which are related to database activation and deactivation okay that's what the script will do so you can see that at this particular timestamp okay so there was start means start of the database okay so the database has started the database name and it is an explicit activation activated yes which means because of explicit activation the database has started similarly the next thing we did was explicit deactivation see deactivated is yes so stop the database has come down right so stop the database uh, because of explicit deactivation after that this is an implicit activation see here start database activated no which means it is an implicit activation of the database and see here it is a uh, stop the database has stopped not because of explicit deactivation but because you know all the users have logged off so it has uh, stopped right and after that you can see here again the database has started uh, like activated now so it's like an implicit activation okay and after that see here what we did right so the this 
the state of the database is changed to explicit activation right so that's what we did actually in terminal 2 and after that we have to explicitly deactivate the database like then only the database will get stopped right so that's it so you can you can look at the records the timestamp and everything which database all the details are there uh, pretty pretty much self explanatory uh, so if somebody asks like whether a database was explicitly activated or deactivated you can look at the db2 dialog entries and find uh, find the answer that you are looking for that's it in this video tutorial thanks uh, please subscribe to my channel db2 luw academy thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye